So they always want to know what grit to use. And I said, well, what's your application? And we talked to us. And, and when we first started messing and really looking at these numbers, one of the things that happened all the time was people would get their RK and their RVK flip-flopped. And what that tells me immediately is you did not have enough peak to valley height to allow us to properly plateau that bore. Tells me you did not use an aggressive enough stone to lay in that base. With the old way that we used to home with these multiple steps, let's, like Ed said, well, let's bring it within two of size with a 220. And then we're going to bring it to a half a size with a 280. Then we're going to bring it to size with a 400. And then we're going to hit it with a plateau brush or a dirty diaper or whatever it is you decide to use to finish it with to, to do all that work. Well, we've killed every thing. If anybody wants to look back, there was a white paper drawn up in the, a long time ago by a gentleman named Hans Fischer. Sure. And, and Hans, I don't know if he worked for Sonnen or consulted for Sonnen. Well, he worked for Sonnen. He okay. was actually my boss for a while. There you go. Hans wrote a white paper up years ago about what he called extreme plateau honing. And his method was 60 grit to size, finish it with a 600 grit. But you want to know what? He showed the traces. He showed what he was doing. He was absolutely correct the process was correct now do i agree with 60 to size and 600 to finish no i don't necessarily agree with that but again it depends on the application but the premise was correct so coming in with a very rough stone to get that base to get that rz to get that peak to valley and then finishing with a fine stone to level it all out and the number that tells me which stone we want to use to bring it to size is rz rz peak to valley